Um, do you believe the 2020 presidential election uh, was stolen? And we'll start with Mr. Bailey. Yeah, absolutely. It was absolutely stolen. The left stole that election by changing the rules of the game at the 11th hour. They're going to try to steal this one by silencing our voices on big tech social media platforms, by stifling us in the mainstream media, and by packing the polling places with criminal, illegal aliens that shouldn't be here in the first place. We've got to fight back. I've seen what a secure election looks like because I participated in one in 2005 in Iraq. And if we can do it overseas in 2005, by God, we can do it here in the United States of America in 2024. Thank you. Yeah, it was stolen, it was rigged, call it whatever you will. In the 2020 election, out of 159 million ballots cast, over 100 of them were earlier absentee. It's absolutely unprecedented in American history. Many of those ballots were cast totally extra-legally, whether it was a lack of signature verification, whether it was the late submissions in Pennsylvania, you can go on and on and on. I'm currently defending President Trump in courtrooms in Georgia, in front of the US Supreme Court in Washington, DC, Colleagues of mine have now been indicted in Arizona for having the temerity to say what we just said on the stage, that the 2020 election was stolen. And if our First Amendment rights do not extend that far, if we can't stand up and call into question the results of a highly questionable election anymore, that's the end of the First Amendment, that's the end of the constitutional order, that's the end of the democratic aspects of our constitutional republic. No, 